Well, here's meteorologist Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, some new information coming in this afternoon in regards to the forecast for both Friday and Saturday. I'll get to that in just a second. First, let's talk about what I'm tracking. We continue to track a trend of slowly climbing temperatures. It just takes some patience, and eventually we get to those warmer temperatures as we approach the weekend. In the meantime, it's kind of adding a few degrees each day to where we finally get temperatures near normal on Saturday. Let's start with Friday, though, and talk about that new data. This morning, I had a very small chance of showers. I'm reducing that to even smaller levels. I mean, I've taken the raindrop out of the forecast. There's still a slight chance of a shower, but it does appear that uh, most of Friday will be rain-free, if not all of Friday will be rain-free. Now, as, in regards to Saturday for the uh, chowder cook-off in Newport at Fort Adams, keep in mind this is a new location this year. Um, it does look like the morning on Saturday may be a cloudy start while the afternoon brings in the sunshine. I'm still forecasting a warm day in Newport close to 70 degrees as we'll get some winds out of the north. So still looking good for the weekend and we keep you in the all clear category on the eyewitness news threat tracker. Of course, we'll let you know if this happens to change on live pinpoint Doppler 12 not tracking any precipitation right now and that trend continues throughout the day. We are tracking a few of these harmless clouds right now. Looks kind of pretty when you mix it in with the blue sky in the background and our temperatures continue to rise inland. We're 63 in Providence, 60 though in Newport, 64 in New Bedford. Notice what our winds are doing right now. They're actually starting to turn from the east and they'll continue to bend from the east southeast as we head into the rest of the afternoon. So you can see this wind direction right here. That's a cooler direction for places like Newport, Jamestown, Westerly, and that will cap our temperatures in the low 60s at the south coast today. May even go down into the upper 50s at times. So maybe the uh, long sleeve shirt, not a bad thing to bring with you if you're heading down to the south coast today. Notice this trail of moisture, even a few showers trying to approach from the south. But high pressure protects us from those showers today. It also keeps in the cooler airs as the high pressure is sending in the cooler winds from the northeast. So that will keep our temperatures in the upper 60s, maybe a few low 70s, not bad for this time of year. And at the south coast, again, cooler in the low 60s to upper 50s. Tonight, temperatures right around 50 for a low, a little milder than last night. And you can see as we track things over the next 24 hours, the green blips not even showing up on this particular futurecast map. This is 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is tomorrow afternoon. I think the main change for tomorrow will be the cloudiness. We'll see more clouds and sun tomorrow before bringing in a decent amount of sunshine by Saturday afternoon. But Saturday morning may be a slow start in terms of seeing some cloudy skies early. This afternoon, upper 60s, a mix of clouds and sun. Here's your extended forecast for the south coast. Tomorrow we're in the mid 60s, mostly cloudy. On Saturday, high around 70 degrees. So again, that's good news for the chowder cook off in Newport, especially during the afternoon. Do be mindful that you'll be dealing with some of those clouds in the morning. Then Sunday, we're at 66 degrees at the south coast because those sea breezes return out of the south. Inland on Sunday, we're looking good, 70 with mostly sunny skies. And then next week, chance of some showers, especially Monday into Tuesday with temperatures in the 70s. So, like I said, Susan, people have been not annoyed, but they've been, you know, <laughs> let's get these warmer temperatures here. They eventually do get here. You are the bearer of bad news sometimes, and you just take the brunt, don't you? You know, that's part of the job, and I love it. <laughs> I love that you took the raindrop out. I, I, I removed it. It was very tough to remove that. <laughs> I could see. All right, thanks, Pete. Yep. Well, now here's a look at what we're working on for Eyewitness News beginning live at 5. We're expecting new developments this afternoon in the terror